If you're thinking on creating a magical area where fairies could live, or maybe you already started and you're wondering what's missing, well, you might be missing what we're building today, a beautiful fairy circle. Hi everyone, I'm Cupcake and we are starting placing our small plaza stone clusters in the Glade of Trust to set the stage for our beautiful fairy circle. So we're making the circle with the stone clusters. So I'm looking to place them in a circular shape or no, maybe more like a spiral shape. Feel free to copy exactly the way I'm positioning the rocks so it's easier for you to have a clean spiral shape. Okay, now I also want this area to look a bit like old fairy ruins. So we're using these low sculpted pillars. Just a few of them surrounding the circle. For that, I'll start with the ones at the entrance and two on the sides and two on the back as well. And with this, all I can think of is the Stonehenge song, which probably nobody knows, but anyway. Placing some two-header desk lamps just in front of each of the pillars. For the flowers, I'll be using hydrangeas from Dazzle's Beach, but to add a bit of variation, let's include some hydrangeas bundles as well. I'm using one per pillar, so I'll be putting them on the sides of each, except for the ones at the entrance, just because I want the entrance to look slightly different than the rest, but feel free to add more if that's how you like it. As you can see, I'm placing my hand ranges now, and I'm only using the purple and pink ones. I believe the blue ones will also look great here, but for now I'll just stick with these two colors. I'm placing them as close as possible to the circle itself and uh, just trying to match a flower circle outside the perimeter as well as rounding each of the pillars with the flowers and I honestly think that looks like there are flowers growing out of the pillars themselves and I just like it a lot. So we'll keep going placing our flowers then I already have some shards that I want to spread around the circle. We don't need to fill the entire circle, we just want some interesting bits of shine here and there. Which is a detail that I think it gives it even more fairy vibes. Especially because of the center of our circle. But just before putting that together, let's add a bit more lush around our fairy circle. And I'm using the Forgotten Lands and the Frosted Heights Dwarf Trees to have a bit of color contrast. Let's add a few more shards and some meadow grass around on the back of our circle, but also on the sides and maybe on the front as well. While I do that, I want to mention that I am very excited for the update 5 and I don't even know what excites me the most. Maybe the cute vanilla bee coming to the valley or the fairy godmother that obviously will be coming to the glade. Now for our center, I was trying to create an interesting shape with these crystals. So we're having one purple crystal at the center and surrounding it with Vitalis crystals and then just one shard on each end. And I just think it looks amazing. Our fairy circle is looking amazing at night, but also at the golden hour. Feel free to give a like if you like this video and subscribe only if you're interested in more, of course. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a very sweet day.